Inspired by the Roller Coaster Tycoon community on YouTube, I wanted to get this game running on my Raspberry Pi. I'd heard rumors it could work and I wanted to find out how. The first thing I tried was the strenuous process of installing Box86, installing Wine, and installing the good old games copy, which was originally designed to run on Windows and an x86 processor, neither of which the Raspberry Pi has. This unfortunately didn't work. It gave me error after error. I heard that OpenRCT2 was the way to go, and that's what I wanna share with you in this video, how I got Roller Coaster Tycoon working using OpenRCT2 compiled from source. OpenRCT2 is an open source uh, re-implementation, they call it, of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, so that it doesn't use the game files. You need to buy those separately, and then they can be joined to the executable from the open source re-implementation. So it sounded like it would work on Linux without Wine or Box86. So the first step was to download the OpenRCT2 source, and I did that in the terminal of Raspberry Pi using git clone. Git is a program for working with source code, and it cloned all the source code from the repository onto my Raspberry Pi. So the second thing I did was to install all the prerequisite packages. Packages are libraries of code that can be relied on by other programs uh, when compiling themselves or when running on your computer. So I found the list of packages to install on the GitHub of OpenRCT, but it wasn't very comprehensive. It didn't list out everything. As I went through and installed them, I found that there was some missing that I needed more than what was there. But luckily in a later step, there is a tool that checks to make sure we've got all the prerequisites installed. I'll leave a list of all the packages that I installed to get OpenRCT running on my Raspberry Pi in the description for this video. So the third step is to use Make. Make is a program that will run the compiler for you with all the settings and in the right order to make sure that all the source code is turned into a program. To set up Make, we use another tool Tool called CMake. CMake checks to make sure we've got all those prerequisite packages installed and that everything's configured appropriately for Make to run. So after running CMake on our Raspberry Pi, we then run Make. And now this takes a long time. It took nearly an hour for Make to run through all the files on the Raspberry Pi. There are suggestions on GitHub about how Make can run faster, but unfortunately these don't work on Raspberry Pi because it only has one CPU core. So there's little point running multiple threads. So after that long time and make is finished, we can use the command make install to install OpenRCT so that it's available anywhere. Now we're not finished yet because this is just the executable. This is the x86 equivalent, but compiled and working on Raspberry Pi. We still need the game data itself, the copyrighted information. And the best way to do this is to download it from good old games. Now you might be thinking you get an exe file from good old games. How's that going to work on my Raspberry Pi? Now one of the packages that I installed and that I've left in the description below is called Inno Extract. It's designed to extract data from exe files. And now this is a very common process for OpenRCT community. So OpenRCT2 has it built in to extract the data from the GOG installation file if you install the inner extract package. And so at this point, all we really need to do is uh, type in the command for OpenRCT2. So the final step then is to run OpenRCT2. It will ask us where we downloaded the installation GOG file. Then all we need to do is point it to that folder. It will extract all the game data automatically and OpenRCT2 will run on the Raspberry Pi. I can finally join the community. If you're having any trouble with the process, please leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do to help you out.